Next issue from chart three. The kickoff pressure has been selected too high. So in that case, what would happen is that your surface gas lift choke will be fully open and your kickoff pressure is going to be almost equal to the gas lift network pressure. So this is what we can see over there. The casing head pressure is almost equal to the kickoff pressure and to the gas lift network pressure. Therefore, the casing head pressure is too low to fully open the unloading valve. So because you don't have enough casing pressure at the depth of this first valve over there, because of the throttling effect of the valve, the darts in your valve is too close from the orifice and your valve is not fully open and basically not open enough to allow a good amount of gas lift to circulate across it. So for that reason, it restricts the gas lift rate and the gas lift rate in that case is insufficient to lift your well and your unloading sequence is stuck at the first valve. So what kind of diagnostic can you do in this case? You should compare the kickoff pressure to the gas lift network pressure. And most probably what you will see in that case is that you have a difference that is less than three bar. So basically, if you do gas lift network pressure minus kickoff pressure, you will find a value that is lower than three bar, so lower than 45 PSI. Another thing that you could check that would confirm that issue is that you would see that the unloading sequence starts with a small gas lift network pressure increase. So for instance, if you were to have some other wells being stopped on the same platform and suddenly a gas lift network pressure one or two bars higher, you would see that suddenly you start to circulate more gas lift there and your unloading sequence starts and you manage to reach your orifice. So what are the solutions if you have such an issue? So I just talked about it right before. You could reduce the gas lift rates on all other wells connected to the same source of high pressure gas in order to temporarily increase the gas lift network pressure. So if you are able to temporarily increase the gas lift network pressure, you should be able to temporarily increase the casing head pressure in that well so that it allows this first valve to open fully. You could also start the well with the choke closed method. So methods that I'm going to detail later on in this training. And there, what you want to try to do is use the tubing effect factor of the valve to make it easier to open. Last thing that you could do is to redesign with a lower kickoff pressure so that when your casing head pressure is almost equal to the gas lift network pressure, this first valve over there would be fully open and therefore would allow you to circulate a much bigger amount of gas lift across it and therefore launch your unloading sequence. So to understand this issue, you need to know how the injection pressure operated valve work and what is the throttling effect. So refer to my gas lift equipment training if you forgot.